Rick Roslin here, Rick Roslin Science, and today we're going to be doing a pretty fun experiment, a design process on parachutes. Parachutes. And so thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, some of the things you're going to need, you'll need some paper, a marker, uh, scissors, some string, and maybe some tape. So I have all this here, but you can do that after the demonstration that we're going to do. So you can, you know, watch what you were doing, and then do it when you're finished. I want to start by saying, hi Rowan, how's my Texas scientist going? I hope doing well, and I can't wait for you and your dad and mom to make parachutes. So make sure you still keep your science journal, because this is a journal for you, because science is for everyone, everywhere, and you need to write down your ideas. So I'd like to uh, show you a little project I worked on when it's a NASA project uh, when I was working with the Indianapolis Children's Museum and the AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. A good friend of mine, Dr. Gordon Schimmel and I, we wrote this all about things that fly in air. So today's lesson is just one of these about flight adventures, a, a unit on, uh, of study for everybody. You can find this at the AMA Flight School or the AMA.org Academy of Model Aeronautics website with all of these lessons. Or you can also find it on the NASA website because it's a NASA publication that uh, Dr. Schimmel and I wrote. So today's lesson is <laughs> kind of cool. It's about parachutes. And NASA has been really involved in parachutes because anytime you're going to send anything up in the air, you want it to come back safely. If you're not going to fly back, the easiest way to come back is with a parachute. And so I'm going to give you a little brief history of parachutes. We're going to make some parachutes and then you're going to make your own design. We're even going to test some parachutes. So the first thing I want to show you is that parachutes and airplanes only work if there's air. You can have the biggest parachute in the world, but if it's in outer space, it's not going to catch on anything. One of the first engineers and scientists who studied parachutes was a man by the name of Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was a scientist, he was an engineer, an artist, and I'll show you one of the parachutes he made later. But let's talk about this air around us. So a parachute needs air. It needs to capture the air to slow down. And air is made of matter. Matter, that's the stuff that everything's made out of. And matter, there are two, two rules about matter. It takes up space and it has mass. All matter takes up space and has mass. Let's do an experiment. Get you a piece of paper, and if we tear it in half, so we're going to try to do the experiment to make sure that it works the same way. So I'm going to tear it in half. Two pieces of paper, basically the same size, same weight, same material. But how do they fall through air? When they fall through the air, maybe the air will slow them down. But there's one more thing we're going to do. I'm going to make this one into like a lid of a box. So here's my bo uh, here's like a little, little box. So when something falls through the air, if it catches more air, that air slows it down because it gets in the way. And I'm going to take this other thing. Remember, it's the same size, same shape, same material. And this one, I'm going to crunch up. And so here's my little experiment that I invented. Same paper, same mass. What's going to happen when I drop these two at the same time? Maybe I can turn over here and we'll see what happens if I drop them at the same time. Which one do you think is going to hit the ground first? Because gravity is pulling it down, but the air in the way is giving some drag. Which one? The big one that catches the air or the small one with less surface area? Let's find out. Ready? Well, we'll probably have to catch this on the ground. One, two, three. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> You see that? Uh, I'll do it again. Ready? You can try this at home and see which. Do it like ten times. See which one wins each time. One, two, three. Wow. So this one, this one has less surface area. It falls through the air. The air gets out of the way. This one, same mass, same material, catches more air, and that's what a parachute does. Come on, let me show you. Uh, let me show you a closer look here at some of these things. So. We're going to make some things, so come on around, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's my journal right here. And, okay. I want to thank Brenda, my camera woman today, for doing all the cameras. 
Uh, so here's our parachutes, and air is matter, it takes up space, has mass. And I want to show you uh, just a little bit about, uh, before we get started, NASA uses lots of parachutes. This is called Space Wedge. They, they use this giant parachute, but it's in the shape of an airfoil. They can actually control this. They drop this X-38 from real high up in the atmosphere, and they used it to glide down. That's kind of like a parafoil. But here's what I really want to show you. Here is a picture of Leonardo da Vinci's parachute. He actually drew this parachute. He's, he wanted to fly. He studied birds and bird wings. And he, he actually made this parachute and uh, wrote notes about it in a science journal. That's how we know about it, because he kept a science journal. And so this is uh, uh, his creation. And here's my experiment that I showed you about the dropping the two pieces of paper. And here's what we're going to make. We're going to make a parachute like this, a Leonardo da Vinci pyramid parachute. And uh, we're also gonna study some parachutes, for example, the space shuttle to slow down. It pulls on a parachute that catches air, more drag. A dragster here in Indianapolis, when they have the, uh, at the, uh, the Lucas Oil drag strip on, on the west side of Indianapolis, when those drags are going so fast, they deploy parachutes to slow down. Is our Leonardo da Vinci, and uh, and here is what we're going to make first, uh, maybe. And here's a kind of a little diagram of how the space wedge and this parafoil they can control it and land at a certain spot right here. All right. So the first thing, though, uh, let's make this. <laughs> let's make something called a whirly gig. Let me move this out of the way right here. Maybe you've seen these before. A whirly gig looks like this, and it's pretty easy to make. I've made some, but they're real easy. Uh, make a square, and they can be any size. They can be any size. And so what I like to do is if I draw this pattern, if you see the pattern here, you cut along the straight lines and you fold along the dotted lines. And what I like to do is put a few extra pieces of paper underneath it. So you put extra paper underneath it. When you cut out one, you're going to have a bunch of them. Now you notice mine's not that straight. But now if I cut out, remember you cut along the solid lines. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is your design, but you can try this one. And we cut it on out like this. And cut along solid lines. I can even leave that long if I want. Here's a solid line cut. Here's a solid line down here cut. Here's a solid line cut. And once you do that, not only have you made one, but you've made three of them. Here's the other two right here. So what I did really simply was I just took that and I folded along these lines, and I have made a whirligig, or rabbit ears. If you turn one this way and one that way, you have, in fact, I put a little piece of tape on this one, and these are some whirligigs. Now, you can have a lot of fun with these because what happens if I bend this a lot. What happens if I don't bend it? What happens if I make one really small? Will they act differently? Let's find out. Let's drop a few and see here. Let's see if I can. I'm really making my cameraman work today. <laughs> so let's drop a few right here and see what happens, okay? Here's one where the wings, the wings are, are just straight. Let's see what happens if I just drop it straight through the air. One, two, three. Not much. Let me try it again. This time I'm going to bend one wing this way and one wing this way and see what happens. Ready? That's cool. Try that again. That's why it's called the whirly gig. The whole thing spins. Not just the rotors. The helicopter, the rotors spin. <laughs> you wouldn't want to ride in this whirly gig. Here's a small one. I wonder what it's going to do. Let's predict. Will it work the same way? Let's find out. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice. So that's something, the first thing I want you to make. Make some whirly gigs. Make them different sizes. See how small you can make them? What's going to happen if you add paper clips to them? That's our whirly gig. We'll test those. I got a special place. We'll test those in just a second. All right, let's take a look at something else here. The next thing I want us to build is the Leonardo da Vinci parachute. So let's see, Brenda, you want to get a little bit closer here? Let's see, here we got 
So I made this pattern. I want to give you a chance to take a look at this pattern. We're going to make a pyramid out of this that looks like this. Here's my pattern. Here's what we're going to end up with. It doesn't take long to make, but I like to put, you notice I put several pieces of paper behind here because if we're going to make one, we might as well make a bunch of them. So let's cut this like this, cut out the pattern. Now, if you want to go online, you can download my unit of study and there's a pattern or you can just use this pattern. But since this is a design process, maybe you can just make your own design and see what happens. I know in math, you guys study solid geometric figures and this is a pyramid that has four sides. All right, so here it is, I got it cut out. Remember I said I cut on the solid lines? And since I did that, I actually have several of these ready to go. And then you fold on the dotted lines. And so, you think it's important that everything's even? Probably. It might be nice and balanced. Okay, and then so, and then your final fold, one, two, three, four. Hey, this might be hard for some of you younger scientists, but uh, you can get help or somebody can help you with it. And that's a little flap that we can tape on there. Now I use, you can use tape. I have some stickers, I was using stickers, but tape works too. And here we have the same parachute that Leonardo da Vinci made. Except we have to add some shroud lines and I got some string here. And I did this kind of a fun way. What I ended up doing was uh, cutting uh, two strings about this long, two of them, okay? And I only need two, I'll tell you why. It's about a foot long. Uh, about a foot long, yeah, about a foot long, but uh, you can uh, change that up. If you have two, what you're gonna do is make a loop like this and attach it to that side, and then the same loop and attach it to the other side. And I did that with some stickers, which you can do with tape. Um, you just take a piece, of, here's what I like to do. I, I like to tape. I like to tape the string first, like that. Can you see that? And then I just like to hook it on this part right here, like that, and do the same on the other side. Take the tape, grab it. I know I'm going fast, but you guys can slow this down, do it yourself. Take your time, draw some pictures. All right, there's one side. Do the same on the other side and you end up with something like this, a parachute, and I put a little paper clip on the bottom of it. I wonder how that's going to fly. We'll test it here in just a second. I even made one, this is where the fun part is, I made one with a, oh, my string came off, my shroud, they call these shroud lines, that's a fancy word for a rope, but this one, I made that out of a coffee filter. So you can try different things around the house, so here's my, oh, I'm, I better use some tape, my stickers. <laughs> I should use my frozen stickers. Here we go, tape it on there. And so here is my coffee filter parachute. We'll try that one out. I got one more, uh, we made the Whirly Gig, we made the Leonardo da Vinci parachute, we made a new kind of parachute. I'm gonna show you one though that I loved to make when I was a kid, if I could find the right stuff. If I used to get a handkerchief from my dad, and you get a handkerchief, you get some strings, and this you can uh, this, uh, do the same thing, some strings, and a weight, and this is a great parachute for outside, that we'll try here in a minute. Let me show you how to make this real quick, okay? So it's got a handkerchief, a square handkerchief. If you don't want the handkerchief, maybe your mom has a scarf, or maybe you have a scarf that you could use. It doesn't have to be this big, or maybe you have an old rag or a t-shirt that you can use. Let me show you how to make this one. And then I got this one for rowing. Rowing, I know you like pink. <laughs> so I went ahead and got my pink parachute. And there's a bunch of ways to tie these shroud lines on. I mean, but I'm just gonna do uh, real quick here and um, open up my parachute. And I got a little tear in my parachute. I'm gonna cut that off. Okay. All right, so I got my string, I got two strings. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this is a little trick I'm gonna show you that uh, instead of tying the knot on there, it might be kind of hard to do. 
have your mom or dad help you. Put the two of these together like this. Pull them like that, make a big loop. Go around the loop, come back up through the loop, and just pull it tight. And now you have that guy right there. Do the same with the other end on this side. I'll show you again real quick. Put them both together like this. Pull it like that, make a big loop. Put them through, push it through, <laughs> pull it through, push it through. And now you've got half of your parachute made. See how that half is made right there? Let's do the same thing to the other side real quick. Now when you look for weights, everybody has a drawer at their house with junk stuff, a bolt or a coupling or a giant washer. Of course, uh, um, if you're outside, find a rock. So let's put these two together real quick. I'm trying to go as quick as I can, but you, there's other ways to tie these together, but this is a design process, so whatever you want to design is going to be kind of cool. You try different things, because on a design process, you have a problem, you come up with a solution or a prototype, you test it, it's probably not going to work, you fix it, you test it again, <laughs> and you keep doing that till you're happy with your design. Here's my last one. This guy, two of them together, wrap it around, and that way. Hey, if you do it this way, when you're done, the handkerchief or the scarf is still good, so it won't ruin the scarf. If you, if you have a favorite scarf that you don't want ruined, pull this guy through, because um, you can just untie the knots. There's no holes in these or anything. All right, so there's my four corners, and uh, Pull it through. There we go. You guys have small fingers. You're probably better at this than I am. All right. Here we go. Here's my parachute that, to capture that air. I just have to come up with a mass or a weight. Now, this always amazes me, but if I, uh, you can tie something on there, but you can just, if it's a loop like this, like a button loop, you can put that through, pull the two loops like that, and just stick it through. Oops, <laughs> and usually it just falls right through. Take the two like this, push it through like this, wrap it around, and then it's attached. So now we have our parachute, our pink parachute. Hey, let's go, I have a testing area in the hallway. Let's go uh, test all these. Let me grab all my little guys that we're gonna try to fly here. My whirly gigs, my parachutes, my paper, and all that stuff. Let's see what else we got. We got everything. Got this guy and this guy. Let's go test test this in my testing area. Come on. So uh, if you don't have an upstairs in your house, you can just drop these. So I'm going to try dropping these from our stairs. We might even try to save this last one for outside. You know, okay, I'll have to talk a little bit louder so you can hear me. So I got all my stuff right here. Let's do that first experiment again. How's this, Brenda? Are we doing good? Here's the first experiment. Remember these two guys? Ready? Three, two, one, drop. Wow. <laughs> so when things drop, gravity pulls them down. This is an experiment I tried, check this out. So this one, if I drop it this way, it won't stay this way. It likes to go through the air the easiest way. So watch what happens, ready? As soon as I drop it, it's probably gonna flip over here. Go on, two, three. Flipped over, nice. All right, let's try our whirly gig. Oh, I didn't bring my whirly gig. We'll get that whirly gig in just a second. Brenda, you wanna go get the whirly gig for me real quick? All right. Here we go. Here's this, uh, here's this parachute. Three, two, one. I see how it kind of whirled around. Let's try this guy right here. Here we go. Here's my Leonardo da Vinci parachute. Wonder what would happen if I added two paper clips. Three, two, one. Now see that one flipped over really quick. <laughs> This one has a bigger pair, a bigger paper clip on it. Let's see what happens. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. 
Nice. Um, let's try this guy right here. Now these work better outside. We'll see, maybe we get this one to work. Ready? And three, two, one. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, so parachutes, a lot of fun. My whirly gigs, a lot of fun. Hey, you want to try this one outside? Now let's try this one outside. Let's step out the door and try this one because why not? I can throw this one up in the air. So come on, let's, uh, it's kind of cold outside, but let's give it a shot because there's a lot of air outside. Ready, Brenda? <laughs> you did done a lot of work today. So this is out front, and I'm gonna, uh, me, I'm gonna step out here in the road. Okay. And, uh, Wind's blowing this way, so we'll see what happens with our parachute. I'm going to throw it up. I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to throw it this way to see what happens. Parachutes, they work if there's air. It takes air. It's made up of matter. It takes up space as mass. Here we go. Let's go up. And it didn't deploy. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Here we go. Hey, this is science and engineering. It's your design. Rowie, I got a pink parachute for you. It's got some frozen two purple on it. See you next time.